The numeric system represented by Roman numerals originated in ancient Rome and remained the usual way of writing numbers throughout Europe well into the late Middle Ages. Numbers in this system are represented by combinations of letters from the Latin alphabet. Roman numerals, as used today, employ seven symbols, each with a fixed integer value, as follows. The use of Roman numerals continued long after the decline of the Roman Empire. From the 14th century on, Roman numerals began to be replaced in most contexts by the more convenient Arabic numerals, however, this process was gradual, and the use of Roman numerals persists in some minor applications to this day. <laughs> Roman numeric system Topic. Basic decimal pattern The original pattern for Roman numerals used the symbols I, V, and X 1, 5, and 10 as simple tally marks. Each marker for one I added a unit value up to 5 V, and was then added to V to make the numbers from 6 to 9. I, 2, 3, 4, V, V, 7, 8, V, I, 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 X The numerals for 4, 4 and 9 v -I 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 proved problematic among other things, they are easily confused with 3 and 8, and are generally replaced with I, V, 1 less than 5 and X, 1 less than 10. This feature of Roman numerals is called subtractive notation. The numbers from 1 to 10 including subtractive notation for 4 and 9 are expressed in Roman numerals as follows. I, 2, 3, I, V, 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 7, 8, X, X The system being basically decimal, tens and hundreds follow the same pattern. Thus 10 to 100, counting in tens, with X taking the place of I, L taking the place of V and C taking the place of X. X, 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 L, 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 X, L, X, X, L, X, 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 C, C. Note that 40, X, L, and 90, X, C, follow the same subtractive pattern as 4 and 9. Similarly, 100 to 1000 counting in hundreds C, 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 D, 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 C, D, C, C, D, C, 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 M, M again 400 C, D, and 900 C, M follow the standard subtractive pattern. In the absence of a standard symbols for 5000 and 10000 the pattern breaks down at this point, in modern usage M is repeated up to three times. The Romans had several different methods for indicating larger numbers, but for practical purposes Roman numerals for numbers larger than 3000 are seldom if ever used nowadays, and this suffices. M, 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 many numbers include hundreds, units and tens. The Roman numeral system being basically decimal, each power of 10 is added in descending sequence from left to right, as with Arabic numerals. For example, 39 Topic 39 XXX plus IX 39 246 Topic 246 CC plus XL plus VI CCXL VI 421 Topic four hundred and twenty one CD plus XX plus I CDXXI as each power of ten or place has its own notation there is no need for place keeping zeros, so missing places are ignored, as in Latin and English speech, thus one hundred sixty topic 160 C plus LX CLX 207 Topic 207 CC plus V CC VII 1066 Topic a thousand and sixty six M plus LX plus VI MLX VI Roman numerals for large numbers are nowadays seen mainly in the form of year numbers. Other uses are detailed later in this article, as in these examples 
1776 m plus dcc plus lxx plus vi equals mdcc lxx vi the date written on the book held by the Statue of Liberty. 1954 m plus cm plus l plus iv equals mcm liv as in the trailer for the movie The Last Time I Saw Paris. 1990 m plus cm plus xc equals mcm xc used as the title of musical project Enigma's debut album mcm xc a d named after the year of its release 2014 m plus x plus iv equals mm xiv the year of the games of the 22 22nd olympic winter games in sochi the current year 2018 is mm xviii topic Alternative forms The «standard» forms described above reflect typical modern usage rather than an unchanging and universally accepted convention. Usage in ancient Rome varied greatly and remained inconsistent in medieval times. There is still no official «binding» standard, which makes the elaborate «rules» used in some sources to distinguish between «correct» and «incorrect» forms highly problematic classical inscriptions those dating dating from the roman period not infrequently use for 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 instead of iv other additive forms such as viiii for x are also sometimes seen although they are rarer on the numbered gates to the colosseum for instance iv is systematically avoided in favor of for but other subtractives Apply, so that gate 44 is labeled XLIIII and gate 49 has XLIX. Clock faces that use Roman numerals normally show 4 for 4 o'clock but X for 9 o'clock, a practice that goes back to very early clocks such as the Wells Cathedral clock of the late 14th century. However, this is far from universal, for example, the clock on the Palace of Westminster, Big Ben, uses a normal IV. XIIX or IIXX are sometimes used for 18 instead of 18. The Latin word for 18 is often rendered as the equivalent of 2 less than 20, duodivigenti, which may be the source of this usage. The standard forms for 98 and 99 are XCVIII and XCIX, as described in the decimal pattern. Section above, but these are occasionally rendered as IIC and IC, perhaps originally from the Latin duodecentum and undecentum, two, one less than a hundred. Sometimes V and L are not used, with instances such as IIIIII and XXXXXX rather than V or LX. Most non-standard numerals other than those described above, such as VXL for 45, instead of the standard XLV are modern and may be due to error rather than being genuine variant usage. In the early years of the 20th century, different representations of 900 conventionally CM appeared in several inscribed dates. For instance, 1910 is shown on Admiralty Arch, London, as MDCCCCX rather than MCMX, while on the north entrance to the St. Louis Art Museum, 1903 is inscribed as MDCDIII rather than MCMIII. Topic history Topic Pre-Roman times and ancient Rome Although Roman numerals came to be written with letters of the Roman alphabet, they were originally independent symbols. The Etruscans, for example, used and for I, V, X, L, C, and M, of which only I and X happened to be letters in their alphabet. Topic hypotheses about the origin of Roman numerals Topic Tally marks One hypothesis is that the Etrusco-Roman numerals actually derive from notches on tally sticks, which continued to be used by Italian and Dalmatian shepherds into the 19th century, thus, I descends not from the letter I but from a notch scored across the stick. Every fifth notch was double cut i.e., etc., and every tenth was cross cut x, 4 lambda i i i i x i i i i lambda i i i i x i i, much like European tally marks today. This produced a positional system, 8 on a counting stick was 8 tallies, 4 lambda 3, or the eighth of a longer series of tallies, either way, it could be abbreviated lambda 3 or 8, as the existence of a lambda implies four prior notches. By extension, 18 was the eighth tally after the first 10, which could be abbreviated X, and so was X lambda 3. Likewise, number 4 on the stick was the I notch that could be felt just before the cut of the lambda V, so it could be written as either 4 or I lambda IV. Thus the system was neither additive nor subtractive in its conception, but ordinal. 
When the tallies were transferred to writing, the marks were easily identified with the existing Roman letters I, V and X. The tenth V or X along the stick received an extra stroke. Thus 50 was written variously as N, I, K, Psi, etc., but perhaps most often as a chicken track shape like a superimposed V and I. This had flattened to an inverted T by the time of Augustus, and soon thereafter became identified with the graphically similar letter L. Likewise, 100 was variously Z, H, or as any of the symbols for 50 above plus an extra stroke. The form Z that is, a superimposed X and I came to predominate. It was written variously as greater than I hundred. The hundredth V or X was marked with a box or circle. Thus 500 was like a, superimposed on a or, that is, like a thorn with a cross bar, becoming d or, by the time of Augustus, under the graphic influence of the letter d. It was later identified as the letter d, an alternative symbol for thousand was a bracketed i or c, and half of a thousand or 500 is the right half of the symbol, i or i, and this may have been converted into d. This at least was the etymology given to it later on. Meanwhile, 1000 was a circled or boxed X, and by Augustinian times was partially identified with the Greek letter phi phi. Over time, the symbol changed to psi and the latter symbol further evolved into infinity, then, and eventually changed to M under the influence of the Latin word mil thousand. Topic hand signals Alfred Hooper has an alternative hypothesis for the origin of the Roman numeral system, for small numbers. Hooper contends that the digits are related to hand gestures for counting. For example, the numbers I, 2, 3, 4 correspond to the number of fingers held up for another to see. V, then represents that hand upright with fingers together and thumb apart. Numbers 6 to 10, are represented with two hands as follows left hand, right hand 6 equals V, I, 7 equals V, 2, 8 equals V, 3, 9 equals V, 4, 10 equals V, V, and X results from either crossing of the thumbs, or holding both hands up in a cross. Another possibility is that each I represents a finger and V represents the thumb of one hand. This way the numbers between 1 to 10 can be counted on one hand using the order, I equals P, 2 equals PR, 3 equals PRM, IV equals IT, V equals T, V equals TP, 7 equals TPR, 8 equals TPRM, X equals IN, X equals N, P equals Pinky, R equals Ring, M equals Middle, I equals Index, T equals Thumb N equals No Fingers, Other Hand. This pattern can also be continued using the other hand with the fingers representing X and the thumb L. Topic. Intermediate symbols deriving from few original symbols A third hypothesis about the origins states that the basic ciphers were I, X, C and Phi or and that the intermediary ones were derived from taking half of those half an X is V, half a C is L and half a Phi, is D. The phi was later replaced with m, the initial of mil, the Latin word for thousand. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages and Renaissance. Lower case, minuscule letters were developed in the Middle Ages, well after the demise of the Western Roman Empire, and since that time, lower case versions of Roman numbers have also been commonly used, i, e, e, i, v, and so on. Since the Middle Ages, a uh, J has sometimes been substituted for the final I of a lower case Roman numeral, such as IIJ for 3 or VIJ for 7. This J can be considered a swash variant of I. The use of a final J is still used in medical prescriptions to prevent tampering with or misinterpretation of a number after it is written. Numerals in documents and inscriptions from the Middle Ages sometimes include additional symbols, which today are called medieval Roman numerals. Some simply substitute another letter for the standard one, such as A for V or Q for D, while others serve as abbreviations for compound numerals O for 11 or f for xl although they are still listed today in some dictionaries they are long out of use chronograms messages with dates encoded into them were popular during the renaissance era the chronogram would be a phrase containing the letters i v x l c d and m by putting these letters together the reader would obtain a number usually indicating a particular year topic Modern use 
By the 11th century, Arabic numerals had been introduced into Europe from Al Andalus, by way of Arab traders and arithmetic treatises. Roman numerals, however, proved very persistent, remaining in common use in the West well into the 14th and 15th centuries, even in accounting and other business records where the actual calculations would have been made using an abacus. Replacement by their more convenient Arabic equivalents was quite gradual, and Roman numerals are still used today in certain contexts. A few examples of their current use are Names of monarchs and popes, e.g. Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom, Pope Benedict XVI. These are referred to as regnal numbers and are usually read as ordinals, e.g. 2 is pronounced the second. This tradition began in Europe sporadically in the Middle Ages, gaining widespread use in England during the reign of Henry VIII. Previously, the monarch was not known by numeral but by an epithet such as Edward the Confessor. Some monarchs e.g. Charles IV of Spain and Louis XIV of France seem to have preferred the use of four instead of IV on their coinage see illustration. Generational suffixes, particularly in the U.S., for people sharing the same name across generations, for example William Howard Taft IV. In the French Republican calendar, initiated during the French Revolution, years were numbered by Roman numerals, from the year I when this calendar was introduced to the year 14 when it was abandoned. The year of production of films, television shows and other works of art within the work itself. It has been suggested, by BBC News, perhaps facetiously, that this was originally done in an attempt to disguise the age of films or television programs. Outside reference to the work will use regular Arabic numerals. Hour marks on timepieces. In this context, four is often written for. The year of construction on building faces and cornerstones. Page numbering of prefaces and introductions of books, and sometimes of appendices and annexes, too. Book volume and chapter numbers, as well as the several acts within a play e.g. Act E, Scene 2. Sequels to some films, video games, and other works as in Rocky II. Outlines that use numbers to show hierarchical relationships. Occurrences of a recurring grand event, for instance. The Summer and Winter Olympic Games e.g. the 21st Olympic Winter Games, the Games of the 30th Olympiad. The Super Bowl, the annual championship game of the National Football League e.g. Super Bowl 37, Super Bowl 50 is a one-time exception. WrestleMania, the annual professional wrestling event for the WWE e.g. WrestleMania XXX. This usage has also been inconsistent. Topic. Specific disciplines In astronomy, the natural satellites or moons of the planets are traditionally designated by capital Roman numerals appended to the planet's name. For example, Titan's designation is Saturn V. In chemistry, Roman numerals are often used to denote the groups of the periodic table. They are also used in the IUPAC nomenclature of inorganic chemistry, for the oxidation number of cations which can take on several different positive charges. They are also used for naming phases of polymorphic crystals, such as ice. In education, school grades in the sense of year groups rather than test scores are sometimes referred to by a Roman numeral, for example, grade X is sometimes seen for grade 9. In entomology, the broods of the 13 and 17 year periodical cicadas are identified by Roman numerals. In advanced mathematics including trigonometry, statistics, and calculus, when a graph includes negative numbers, its quadrants are named using I, 2, 3, and IV. These quadrant names signify positive numbers on both axes, negative numbers on the x-axis, negative numbers on both axes, and negative numbers on the y-axis, respectively. The use of Roman numerals to designate quadrants avoids confusion, since Arabic numerals are used for the actual data represented in the graph. In military unit designation, Roman numerals are often used to distinguish between units at different levels. This reduces possible confusion, especially when viewing operational or strategic level maps. In particular, Army Corps are often numbered using Roman numerals for example the American 18th Airborne Corps or the WW2-era German III Panzerkorps with Arabic numerals being used for divisions and armies. In music, Roman numerals are used in several contexts. Movements are often numbered using Roman numerals. 
In music theory, the diatonic functions are identified using Roman numerals, see, Roman numeral analysis. Individual strings of stringed instruments, such as the violin, are often denoted by Roman numerals, with higher numbers denoting lower strings. In pharmacy, Roman numerals are used in some contexts, including S to denote one half, and N to mean nothing. See the sections below on zero and fractions. In photography, Roman numerals with zero are used to denote varying levels of brightness when using the zone system. In seismology, Roman numerals are used to designate degrees of the Mercalli intensity scale of earthquakes. In sport the team containing the top players and representing a club or a school at the highest level in say, rugby union is often called the first 15, while a cricket or American football team for younger or less experienced players might be the third 11. In tarot, Roman numerals with zero are used to denote the cards of the major arcana. In theology and biblical scholarship, the Septuagint is often referred to as LXX, as this translation of the Old Testament into Greek is named for the legendary number of its translators Septuaginta being Latin for 70. <laughs> Modern use in continental Europe Some uses that are rare or never seen in English-speaking countries may be relatively common in parts of continental Europe. For instance, capital or small capital Roman numerals are widely used in Romance languages to denote centuries, e.g. the French XV siècle and the Spanish siglo XVIII mean 18th century. Slavic languages in and adjacent to Russia similarly favor Roman numerals 18 vec. On the other hand, in Slavic languages in Central Europe, like most Germanic languages, one writes 18 with a period before the local word for century. Mixed Roman and Arabic numerals are sometimes used in numeric representations of dates especially in formal letters and official documents, but also on tombstones. The month is written in Roman numerals, while the day is in Arabic numerals 14, v.1789, and v.14.1789, both refer unambiguously to 14 June 1789. Roman numerals are sometimes used to represent the days of the week in hours of operation signs displayed in windows or on doors of businesses, and also sometimes in railway and bus timetables. Monday, taken as the first day of the week, is represented by I. Sunday is represented by 7. The hours of operation signs are tables composed of two columns where the left column is the day of the week in Roman numerals and the right column is a range of hours of operation from starting time to closing time. In the example case left, the business opens from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays and is closed on Sundays. Note that the listing uses 24-hour time. Roman numerals may also be used for floor numbering. For instance, apartments in central Amsterdam are indicated as 138 i.e., with both an Arabic numeral number of the block or house and a Roman numeral floor number. The apartment on the ground floor is indicated as 138 huis. In Italy, where roads outside built-up areas have kilometre signs, major roads and motorways also mark 100-metre subdivisionals, using Roman numerals from I to X for the smaller intervals. The sign, X, 17, thus marks kilometre 17.9. A notable exception to the use of Roman numerals in Europe is in Greece, where Greek numerals based on the Greek alphabet are generally used in contexts where Roman numerals would be used elsewhere. Topic: <laughs> Special values. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> 0. The number 0 does not have its own Roman numeral, but the word nulla, the Latin word meaning none was used by medieval scholars in lieu of zero. Dionysus Exiguus was known to use nulla alongside Roman numerals in 525. About 725, Bede or one of his colleagues used the letter N, the initial of nulla or of Nile the Latin word for nothing, in a table of epacts, all written in Roman numerals. Topic. Fractions Though the Romans used a decimal system for whole numbers, reflecting how they counted in Latin, they used a duodecimal system for fractions, because the divisibility of 12, 12 
Topic. 22 times 3 makes it easier to handle the common fractions of one third and one quarter than does a system based on 10 10. 2 times 5. On coins, many of which had values that were duodecimal fractions of the unit as, they used a tally-like notational system based on twelfths and halves. A dot indicated an uncia. Twelfth. The source of the English words inch and ounce, dots were repeated for fractions up to five twelfths. Six twelfths one half was abbreviated as the letter S for semis. Half. Uncia dots were added to S for fractions from 7 to 11 twelfths, just as tallies were added to V for whole numbers from 6 to 9. Each fraction from 1 twelfth to 12 twelfths had a name in Roman times. These corresponded to the names of the related coins. The arrangement of the dots was variable and not necessarily linear. Five dots arranged like as on the face of a die are known as a quincuns, from the name of the Roman fraction, coin. The Latin words sextons and quadrants are the source of the English words sextant and quadrant. Other Roman fractional notations included the following 1 8 sescuncia, sescunciae from sesqua plus uncia, i.e. one and a half unches, represented by a sequence of the symbols for the semuncia and the uncia. 1 24th semuncia, semunciae from semi plus uncia, i.e. one half uncia, represented by several variant glyphs deriving from the shape of the Greek letter sigma, sigma one variant resembling the pound sign without the horizontal line and another resembling the Cyrillic letter E. 1 36th binai sextali, binarum sextularum, two sextulas, or duela, dueli, represented by a sequence of two reversed S's, 148th Sicilicus, Sicilici, represented by a reversed C. 172nd Sextula, Sextali, 1 -sixth of an uncia, represented by a reversed S. 1 144th equals 12 minus 2 Domitia Sextula, Domitiae Sextali, half a Sextula, represented by a reversed S crossed by a horizontal line. 1 288th Scripulum, Scripuli, a scruple, represented by the symbol. 1 1728 equals 12 minus 3 siliqua, siliquae, represented by a symbol resembling closing guillemets. Topic. Large numbers A number of systems were developed for the expression of larger numbers that cannot be conveniently expressed using the normal seven-letter symbols of conventional Roman numerals. Topic. Apostrophus. One of these was the apostrophus, in which 500 usually written as D was written as while 1000 was written as C instead of M. This is a system of encasing numbers to denote thousands. Imagine the C's and S's parentheses, which has its origins in Etruscan numeral usage. The D and M used to represent 500 and 1000 were most likely derived from and C, respectively, and subsequently influenced the adoptions of D and M in conventional Roman numerals. In this system, an extra, denoted 500, and multiple extra s are used to denote 5,000, 50,000, etc. For example, sometimes c, was reduced to for 1,000. John Wallace is often credited for introducing the symbol for infinity, modern infinity and one conjecture is that he based it on this usage, since 1,000 was hyperbolically used to represent very large numbers. Similarly, for 5,000 was reduced to cc, for 10,000 to, for 50,000 to, and ccc, for 100,000 to. Topic. Vinculum Another system is the vinculum, where a conventional Roman numeral is multiplied by 1,000 by adding an overline. Although mathematical historian David Eugene Smith disputes that this was part of ancient Roman usage, the notation was certainly in use in the Middle Ages, and is at least a convenient and conventional way to express numbers greater than 3,999 in Roman numerals. For instance, IV for 4,000, 25 for 25,000 adding vertical lines or brackets before and after the numeral seems to have been used at least by late medieval times to multiply a Roman numeral by 10, thus M for 10,000 rather than X in combination with the overline the bracketed forms might be used to raise the multiplier to say 10 or 100,000, thus 8 for 80,000 or 800,000 XX for 200,000 or 2 million 
This needs to be distinguished from the custom of adding both underline and overline to a Roman numeral, simply to make it clear that it is a number, e.g. mcmlxvii. See also Egyptian numerals Etruscan numerals Karisthi numerals Roman abacus Proto-writing Roman numerals in Unicode Pentamal system References Sources Menninger, Carl Number Words and Number Symbols, A Cultural History of Numbers. Dover Publications. ISBN 978-0-486-27096-8. Further reading Assel, Amir D. 2015. Finding Zero, A Mathematician's Odyssey to Uncover the Origins of Numbers, 1st Edition. New York, Palgrave Macmillan. Goines, David Lance. A Constructed Roman Alphabet, A Geometric Analysis of the Greek and Roman Capitals and of the Arabic Numerals. Boston, D.R. Godin, 1982. Houston, Stephen D. 2012. The Shape of Script, How and Why Writing Systems Change. Santa Fe, New Mexico, School for Advanced Research Press. Tybock, Christian M. 1965. Roman numerals and the abacus. Classica et Medievalia 26 to 147 60. Topic. Notes. 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 Not